What's up, Dodger fans? It's the 3 Up 3 Down podcast with a September outlook for the Dodgers, their road to their ninth straight division title. Of course, we got to talk about Friday, Saturday, Sunday against the Giants in San Francisco. Welcome back to the 3 Up 3 Down podcast. My name is Eric Eul, your host for this five-minute Dodgers Nation production. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram. That is at E-E-U-L. A-U. I'm recording this Thursday evening, which means for the first time since late April, yes, April, the Dodgers have at least a share of first place in the NLS. Both they and the Giants knotted up at 85 and 49 with 28 games to go. The team squaring off Friday, Saturday, Sunday in San Francisco at Pac Bell, SBC, Oracle. I, I forget what it's called. The name changes every four or five years, unlike our stadium, but they're playing up there. A lot of people argue, you know, does momentum really exist in baseball? Can't you just boil it all down to stats? And I'm a big stat guy. I, I, I love them. Love looking at them. Love wasting three hours looking at them, generating them, have my girlfriend yell at me, why am I looking at an Excel spreadsheet at 9 p.m. at night? The Dodgers have some serious momentum entering this series. They've won 20 of their last 25. They've won their last eight one-run ball games. The team was 21-6 and six for the month of August. They now have a winning record against teams over 500. They can just worry about the task at hand. All is square entering the final full month of the season as they chase that ninth straight division title. Just worry about winning each individual series. And yeah, they do have six series remaining against winning teams. I'm not going to walk you through the entire schedule. That'd be super boring. I don't even know if I could do that. Plus, you all have Google, your phone, the MLB at bat, you know, a speaker made by Jeff Bezos that's quietly listening to you so you can you know, ask it what the remaining schedule is like. But look, you have a tough stretch where they're going to play 13 in a row here. You got a road trip that's starting off at San Francisco. Then you go to St. Louis. You got you come back home to the Padres. We all know how they're going to play after we kick their butts in San Diego. You do have some lighter fare on the menu too, though, with the Diamondbacks, the Rockies. And then you finish out the season early October, that last regular season series against the Dynamite Milwaukee Brewers, which could have some major playoff implications for the Brewers, the Giants, and the Dodgers. The Dodgers did all of this damage catching the Giants with their offense kind of being average. And yeah, there was some timely hitting as they swept the Braves in Los Angeles and as they swept the Padres. But look, you had Justin Turner, Max Muncy, Chris Taylor, all hitting below 230, all not really warming up. Cody Bellinger is essentially dead. Betts just finally came back. With all of that, the Dodgers still strung together a 21-6 August because of the pitching staff. Max Scherzer, Walker Buehler, and Julio Urias. As long as those guys are healthy, I believe in this team. I'm Yeah, it's going to be tough in September, but they have the mentality and they have the leadership, and most importantly, they have the talent to win their ninth straight division title. Hopefully, Clayton Kershaw and Tony Gonsolin come back soon to fill out the rest of the rotation, but this team has plenty of ammo. As the offense gets back to itself and they start firing on all cylinders, this team is in great position, the best position they've been all year to take home their ninth straight division title. The last three-day weekend of the summer could only be better with three games against your hated blood rival. Dodgers-Giants knotted up at eight wins, eight losses for the year, which means whoever wins this three-game set not only gets the driver's seat for the NOS, but also bragging rights for the rest of the year. The Dodgers are going to roll out David Price, Julio Urias, and Walker Buehler this weekend. No Max Scherzer, but we knew that dating back to last Sunday. But now with Scherzer leaving Wednesday night's Braves game, After six stupendous innings with a little bit of hamstring tightness, giving him that extra rest now makes even more sense than it ever did. Now, look, the Giants, their rotation is a disaster for this weekend. And according to the Athletics' Andrew Baggerly, who covers the Giants, Gabe Kapler has said there's not a rotation per se. They'll probably throw Jose Quintana. But Logan Webb, who's been great, he pitched on Thursday against the Brewers. He's not available. Cueto on the IL. You have Alex Wood, former Dodger. He's also on the COVID IL list. Kevin Gossman, Scalfani, dealing with some nagging injuries as well. So a lot of bullpen work. I think the bullpen is also could be a weakness for the Dodgers. It's really kind of the one thing I'm worried about for the rest of September and in this series. One thing I'm not worried about is the offense. And if you look, the Giants, some of those guys like Lamont Wade and Buster Posey. I mean, sorry, Posey's not just a guy. It's Buster 
Buster Posey. But you look at their stats as a team for August, their offensive stats in the bottom half of the league in average, weighted ones created plus, and OPS. The Dodgers weren't doing much better. The Dodgers were 15th in OPS and 12th in weighted runs created plus. Both teams pitching staff stupendous. But the Giants offense couldn't really sustain what they had done the first half of the season. So going to be a great series, set up an incredible September for the Dodgers. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, rate, review to the Dodgers Nation YouTube, download the app on the App Store or Google Play, and make sure to check out the Blue Heaven podcast and Dodgers Dugout with uh, McCain. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you on the other side.